Well, hello everybody. Welcome to PBM Money. My name is Brian and today I'm going to tell you why I think retirement accounts are a great big scam. <laughs> I bet you've never heard anybody say that before. Well, now at the end of this video I'm going to give you a long list of just reasons. But I want to start by telling you the big reason. Whenever people talk about retirement funds, they talk about dollar cost averaging, compounding of interest, and 40 years into the future, right? Put your money in, let it sit, compound, take it out. Well, today I'm going to explode that myth. And I can do it now at this age because I lived through this. This is not hypothetical. Let me give you an example. When I started working in uh, the mid-1970s, a gallon of gas was less than a dollar. It was right around a dollar. Today, depending on where you are in the country, I'm still in the Midwest, which is where I was referencing. It's now a little over $3 a gallon. So the price has tripled. A loaf of bread back in the day was around 50 cents a loaf-ish, uh, depending on where you went, whether you bought generic or what. But anyway, 50 cents. Today, a medium loaf of bread will cost you about a buck fifty. You can get them cheaper, you can get them more expensive, but call it a buck fifty. Again, about three times. I am going someplace with this. The two examples I gave you is the cost of living has increased, okay? Tripled in the last 40 years. Nothing wrong with that. But now let's play a game. Let's pretend, and what, now wait a minute, let me back up. As you, as, as, if I had opened a mutual fund back then, or a retirement account, and I was putting in dollars, $1977, the value then, and I'm taking them out, even though my money's tripled in my retirement account, I have the same amount of buying power. Let me make that a little bit more plain. I've gone without for 40 years to fund my retirement account so that I can have the exact same spending power as when I put it in. It's nice to have the thing, don't get me wrong. But for the last 40 years, whatever the company was, Fidelity or whoever, was managing my fund, took my dollars at that buying power then and reinvested it and kept making money at current dollars. So they were making money off of mine. All I got was maybe the same buying power as I had 40 years ago. That sounds like a scam to me. Now let's play this game. Let's say that in 1977, I had made two investments. One, I put $3, and I'm gonna I use three just to make it simple. I put $3 into a retirement account. Okay? I also put $3 into a piece of real estate. Okay? Remember, their value is $1977 at $3 each investment. Let's fast forward 45 years. The retirement account <coughs> is now tripled. So now I have $9. Go me. But when I take that $9 out and I go to buy something, it's only going to be, the buying power is only $3. Now, let's look at the piece of real estate. If I had to put $3 into a piece of real estate in 1977, it would have tripled. At least. So now it's worth $9. But here's the catch. The piece of real estate that I bought back then, assuming it was investment real estate, I was getting 
current dollars for the last 40 years. In 1980, I got 1980 dollars. I got the buying power. In 1990, I got the buying power of 1990 dollars for whatever rent I was charging. So all along, I've been making money in current value dollars. And if I go to sell that piece of property, I'm going to get $9 in value in today's dollars. Do you see the problem? I think we've been sold a scam. I think retirement accounts, for the person who can't save, it's better than nothing. But for the person who is really concerned about their retirement, it's worthless. Now, I told you at the end of the video I was going to give you a list of all the reasons I, I hate retirement accounts and I think they're a great big scam. Now, I want you to keep our game in mind as we go through this. No control. You have very little control over your money once it's in there. The piece of real estate, you're controlling the whole way. You want to get your money out of your retirement account, you're going to pay a penalty. Real estate, you want to get your money out? All you got to do is sell it or rent it out. Another big selling point that they told me when I opened my retirement account years ago was I would get a tax credit. Okay, that's fine. Dollar for dollar. That's, that's great. On a piece of real estate, though, I get to write off closing cost, improvements, depreciation, every year for one investment. In order to get the tax benefit for the retirement account, I have to donate to it every year. With the real estate, I get those benefits every year whether I do anything with it or not. We talked about the returns. You get very small returns. I mean, uh, as an example, just think about the last three years. We've lost over 10% of our buying power in three years. If your money is sitting in, in a retirement account, you're, you lost 10 to 12% of your buying power in just in the last three years. Think about what that's going to do in the next 40 years, even if they hit their target date of 2% per year. Bad, 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 bad. They want to talk about compounding. That's the big, big benefit to retirement accounts. And that's true. It, but here's the catch. If you look at those um, tables that they show you, the majority of the compounding happens in the last five years. That's how they get to say those numbers. I lived through 08. I lived through 77, 78 through 82 when inflation was... 25%. Mortgage loans were 21%. That means everybody's buying power went down about 20% per year. Compounding is a fallacy, and you have no control over it. Fees is another one. I just got notification. I, I've got a, a retirement fund uh, that I'm getting ready to close because they notified me they're going to start charging uh, 1% fee per year. I'm out. You're not you're going to give me 3% <clears throat> and then take back 1% for your fee. There's no fees in real estate. I mean, you got your principal, interest, taxes and insurance and any bills that you have and any improvements, but there's no fees unless you get a management company, in which case that's deductible. <clears throat> when I was telling you earlier about the funds that manage retirement accounts, they're rich. Have you ever seen a poor, poor fund? They're all getting rich on the money because they're investing today's dollars and making today's dollars. You're investing today's dollars hoping to get value in 40-year dollars. That's wrong. That's a scam. Liquidity. Retirement funds are not liquid. You can get to them, yes, but it takes a long time. And by long time, I mean anywhere from a week to a month, depending on the fund and depending on the hoops they want you to jump through and the fees that they're going to charge you. Real estate is as liquid as you want it. 
If you want it liquid every month, rent it out. Now, it's not as liquid as savings, but it's liquid every single month. Control. We talked about this one earlier, but I was talking at that point about you, you controlling your investments. Let's talk about the control of your retirement. And I want you to think very carefully about this. When you have a retirement fund, somebody, nameless, personless, not responsible, is in charge of your retirement money. So they say, oh, we had a bad year and lost 25%. Okay, so they go home and have dinner. You lost 25% of your retirement. There's no guarantees. Somebody else is in control of your retirement. In real estate, you're in control. You're making the decisions. And going along that same vein, I want you to think about this. The people that manage the retirement funds Yes, it is true, they're supposed to have a fiduciary responsibility, okay? That is true. But when it comes right down to it, they have their best interests at heart, not yours. If they have to choose between cutting your uh, dividend by 50% or losing their paycheck by 50%, which one do you think they're going to choose? In real estate, that's not an issue. You're in control. To sum up, I believe retirement funds are one of the biggest scams ever perpetrated on Americans. And, and you know, and I'll tell you the truth. I, thought, I even thought this back when um, the IRA was introduced under Ronald Reagan. I love Reagan, okay? But when he came out with this, I remember thinking, anytime the federal government comes to tell me, hey, I'm here to help you, grab onto your wallet, and I was not wrong. The cost of money, the, the cost of investing today dollars for 40 year future dollars is a big fat scam. Stay in control of your own money, make investments that you control, and that way you have nobody else to blame. You have yourself a great day, a great week, and happy investing.